Oh, look, where did that come from? Look at all the lights that's draped upon this tree. I'm right in the middle of uh, the uh, Herman Manil Park at College Point. And this is the only tree that's that's uh, draped with lights. So, oh, I'm still in daytime, so I can't uh, <laughs> I can't uh, verify that they're gonna turn this on at night. But uh, very curious. This is the only tree that uh, has light on it. Hello everyone, today is April 24th, 2021. Time now is 12.30 p.m. 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's really warm, sunny. Uh, and, uh, spring, is, uh, we're in the middle of spring now. And I'm right outside Herman A. Manil Park in uh, the edge of College Point in Queens. Uh, look at that, uh, somebody etched this thing on it. Cool. Well, uh, so near the shore, near the shoreline of uh, College Point, you see some uh, pretty nice housing developments because uh, everybody likes to enjoy this waterfront. Mm, smells like uh, salt water there. There's a one lonely little swan in the middle. So right across this body of water is actually uh, LaGuardia Airport uh, over that way. So um, once in a while you see the planes uh, taking off and landing there. So for today, this walk, I'm just gonna on and off and uh, narrate the area, give my little commentary. Oh, that swan feels really lonely. So digging in, trying to find some food down there. Yeah, I was here, I think I was here like last year in the middle of pandemic as well Maybe two years ago It's been two years, wow Yeah, see the control tower up there? Yeah, that's the airport. And uh, further down this way is the Manhattan skyline. Uh, from, from this direction, you see the Freedom Tower. And along here, there's the Billionaire Row. You see that one of the tallest tower, like furthest to the right. Let me see, yeah. You see that? Uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the tallest building like right next to Chinatown uh, right next to the Central Park I think that's uh that's that one there is uh, the building that holds uh, the edge I forgot what it's called the Hudson Yard yeah, you can see a lot of uh, stuff from here even though it's a little bit hazy oh that ducky look Now right across this, it's, uh, the, it's actually uh, the bronze, uh, Castle Hill is what it says on the map. So this way is Hunts Point, 
and that's uh, the bronze. Whole shore line is uh, lined with fencing. It uh, looks very sturdy. Looks very new. I would not recommend eating the fish here. But let's take the stairs here and go up the hills. So we have a better, uh, a better vantage point. It's a very beautiful day for a walk in the park. Oh, that's a, that's a nice lunch you're having there. If anyone knows what kind of bird that is, please tell me. So, it looks like some kind of hawk, but I cannot be sure because I don't know. Every park Every New York City park has its own flag post with an uh, American flag and as you can see the wind is not too strong today So right across the field so one, It's a children's playground Handball court, basketball court Many of the trees in this park has this little uh, plaque here that you can read. Uh, see if I can get you a better view. Maybe get closer. Yeah, uh, this one is a tulip poplar. A showstopper twice a year with yellow orange tulip shaped flowers each spring and bright gold leaves each fall. Its leaf resembles upside down t shirt. Later Americans carved dugout canoes with these trees and Daniel Boone brought his family west from Kentucky in one and uh, check out the size of this tree guys just look all the way up very big tree I wonder uh, and here's a flag pole for American flag and you can see that these trees are taller than the flag pole So there's a little sign over there. Let's take a look and see what it says. Oh, look at these. Look at these flowers around the tree. I think this is called a daffodil tree, right? Um, I mean daffodil flower. Beautiful. And these people have a very elaborate setup under the bridge, uh, under the tree. Oh, this is why, look, September 11, Living Memorial Grove. Now, the Grove of Flowering Tree is a living memorial dedicated to the tragic events of September 11. One in, there's one in each borough with clear views of downtown Manhattan where the Twin Tower once stood. All the groves have trees that flower with white blossom in early spring. The Manhattan Grove is composed of trees transplanted from the plaza area around the World Trade Center that was badly damaged but survived. Interesting. And you get to uh, 
volunteer to care for the space. And here are I wonder what the purpose of these are. It looks like uh, there's a little door you can open from the back. Maybe it's a bird feeder, right? You put a packet of seed in there and then um, birds will dig out the seeds from this end. I don't know. So this is, this whole thing is uh, done for the, mem uh, as a um, September 11 memorial. All of these trees with uh, flower under it. Yeah, right? Uh, it doesn't look like uh, something that grows naturally in the park, so it makes sense that this is what it is. Some more benches um, looking at the shore and uh, walking down the hill now. Uh, uh, going very fast. Uh. Right, so, this section of the fencing uh, is a little bit damaged, and uh, there's also a sign that warns you not to get too close to it. So there are a number of people here. As you can see that uh, stuff. It's very, uh, it's a very good day to come out here and enjoy the nature. So. That dog was totally pulling at the owner. Huh? Wow. Going very fast. Just children enjoying the day. The tree is cut. Uh, there's another um, baseball field down this way, uh, closer to the streets, but uh, I don't have time to uh, visit at the, today. So uh, I'm gonna instead uh, go to the end of the park over this way. I'm out. Enjoying the day, huh? Oh, that's so cute.
Oh, that's a cute baby. <laughs> so here's a boat launch or kayak launch uh, ramp that's uh, down from the street and uh, and you can let it, let it go from here. Uh, but I don't think it's feasible at this time uh, because the tide is so low. There's uh, literally no water coming up. Oh, it's, that's a uh, oh uh, that, that that salty water smell. So strong. Um, so yep. Uh, bring so this uh, this is a plaque from the city. Um, bring bring bringing back the oysters and uh, these helix shaped uh, metal structures and uh, so that the uh, oyster can uh, attach to the points to these uh, little metal structures uh, limestone create a solid base for new oysters to grow and so yeah this is uh that's a uh, electric reef project that's what it says so the mallard the what i don't know the horseshoe crab oh that was uh that's what we just saw right the great egret in the beginning the double crested cormorant uh, i don't think i saw that uh yeah Yes, here, here's a uh, kayak launch and uh, no, uncertified area, no shell fishing. Yeah, not only is uh, illegal but due to a uh, conservation, uh, I don't think you want to eat the oysters here. Because uh, uh, just checking out the kayak launch here, see? There's no water to go, uh, so uh, after this step, you, ca you cannot reach the shore. Um, yeah, and uh, that's the end of today's video on uh, the McNeil Park in College Point. I uh, hope you enjoy this walk as much as I do. Uh, do also check out the public waterfront video for the for the area right next to it. This. Um, this housing development uh, has a uh, public waterfront. All right, uh, drop a comment, tell me how you think, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.